Well, more than 1,400 COVID cases reported today in Nevada. Now, that marks the third highest day since the COVID pandemic began. And Brian, earlier today, uh, both state and local health officials weighed in on the spike. Joe Moeller tells us what's being done to lower the number of cases. Joe? Well, cases up and down the state are on the rise. Now, state and local officials say they're doing what they can to combat this spike, but they also need the public to do their part. Over the last nine months. During a weekly COVID-19 mitigation and management meeting, we learned the current rate of cases is trending up. And they just continue to increase. Um, here you can compare our previous peak in July and August to the 13.8 percent positivity that we're seeing over the last 14 days. Northern Nevada is seeing a bigger surge. The positivity rate for Southern Nevada is around 12 percent. Statewide, it is around 14. Ten of our counties, um, as being indicated, is having elevated disease transmission and it looks again like all of those counties are being flagged for a high case rate. Despite cases going up locally, hospitals say they have been preparing for another spike with feds and PPE. In Clark County, they will start increasing efforts in the hard hit zip codes such as the east side of the valley. Testing will increase with more locations. Texas Station is opening once again. The health district is also changing how they recommend approval for large gatherings depending on cases trend. At this time, our overall capacity is in the red column. Therefore, we are currently not recommending approval of large gathering plans. Misty Robinson from the Southern Nevada Health District says they could recommend cancellations. From 11-3 through 11-10, SNHD did recommend approval for nine large gathering plans. Um, however, they may be pulled back. She says just because the recommendation is there doesn't mean events will be canceled. It is important to note that SNHD is not the deciding entity on any large gathering plan. There are several agencies involved in that decision process. We can only make recommendations based on the public health infrastructure. And echoing what the governor said, state officials within the uh, health department also said that if we don't get a grip on this spike, we could see more restrictions put in place in the future. Reporting live, Joe Moeller, 8 News Now.